Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my recipe for homemade flour tortillas. In a bowl, combine two cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, if you're using your stand mixer, fit with the paddle attachment and mix for a few seconds, or if you're doing this by hand, just use a whisk and mix the dry ingredients. Then add a quarter cup of vegetable shortening or you can use soft butter. If you're mixing by hand, use a fork or a couple of knives to incorporate the fat with the flour. Or with the stand mixer, just let it mix for about a minute. And then add three quarters of a cup of really, really hot water. The dough will start to form and it will start to pull away from the bowl. So then just stop the mixer and bring it all together in a bowl. And cover it with plastic wrap and let it rest for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I brush my counter with oil and then I put my dough in it, form it in a log and divide it in 16 equal pieces. I like to roll my tortillas really thin so I get them about 9 inches of diameter. You can also divide it in less pieces, get about 12 tortillas if you don't like them that thin or if you want to roll them bigger. I roll each one into a bowl and then cover it with plastic wrap so they don't dry out. Before I start rolling them out, I heat up the griddle to medium or medium high heat. And then I flour my surface and start rolling them out. I try my best to do a circle, but they always turn out more like a square. If you have any tips or tricks on how to roll them in a perfect circle, please leave a comment down below. Once they are to my desired size and thickness, I put it in the hot griddle and cook each side for about 2 minutes. They'll start to bubble up and so when you're ready to flip it, gently press to release the steam. I let them cook so they brown on both sides, but they are still pliable and soft. If you're serving them right away, just keep them wrapped in a towel to keep warm. You can also let them cool down and store in a plastic bag or a Ziploc bag and refrigerate for up to two weeks. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.